All right, we're at Western Iowa Tech today here in our motorcycle lab, and what we're going to do is show how to properly use this uh, impact or removal installation tool. More common for us typically to use this for a removal because when we install fasteners, guys, what's the tool used that we, what do we call that tool? A torque wrench. Okay, so for us, uh, we're going to do that. But the other thing about this, I guess I didn't think about what we were talking in the classroom, is that this could be used to remove left-handed fasteners, Okay. So we're going to use a, a standard application right now. With the 3H drive on there, we can attach Allens, we can attach sockets. Uh, it comes with a selection of Phillips standard uh, bits and numerous sizes here. So what we said we want to do is we always, this faster we're going to practice on is not stripped, but what we say we want to do is we're going to pretend that this bottom one stripped just to get familiar with how to hand use the tool. But you always want to go to a good fastener to set the tool into the direction. Do you see how that rotates now? Okay, and I was having a hard time doing that by hand there. Okay, so there's directions on here that say on and off. Can you see this? Okay, so I want to go off, so I'm going to follow the arrow that way. Now, you know, per most directions, I'm left-handed. Oh, let's see if I'm left-handed. I'm going to have to go this side. What I would do is I would just go from here, and I'm going to smack this, and it's going to impact or remove the fastener. But what I want to do is, if this was my damage fastener here, now, now snap on if you're watching this video, don't kill me about void warranties or anything else here, is I'm going to take this fastener and I'm going to make sure and drive it in. I'm going to make sure that it is bottomed out. I want 100% real estate. You can see the grease marks on here, how deep this went. If you take an Allen, and what mostly strips them is people don't get them clean. So you think ATVs are a problem? People get their mud and stuff in there or whatnot, or dirt bikes? If I don't get this fully seated, I lose the potential real estate, and for me to be able to remove that is going to be difficult. Make sense? This one here is a good fastener, so it fits good. There's no problem. But make no doubt about it, uh, bottom or seat it, no matter what type of fastener it is, my tool is already set in the correct location. Now listen to me on this. When you have a damaged fastener, would you agree that a lot of times there's play in there because it's loose? Always preload your tool. So can you see where there's, there's play in here? Preload the tool in the direction of removal, okay? That'll take up that slack because if I don't preload it, when I hit this, it has to take the gap up first before it even attempts to drive the fastener out. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to preload and now... Must have tightened that pretty good by hand. So it finally got loose on me and then uh, I was able to remove it. 